so I just got out of the education concert. These children were, oh Lord, I'm losing my coat. These children were turnt, y'all. It was so much fun. I was trying to get some footage, but it's hard to record in there. And they, they really frown upon recording. So I um, just wanted to mention that it was a good time and support of the arts, especially in early childhood education is so important. So off back to the office now. from the airport having never been there before um, you guys will see that video shortly coming up but I say all of that to say I'm just gonna bear uh, brave the elements out here in the cold at least it's in the parking deck so it's not like outside outside but it's still cold in here and there's snow on the ground um, so yeah welcome to Michigan <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted This is our first view of the room. So hopefully it's super nice. Ugh. I mean, I guess as far as rooms go. Hey y'all. We're tired. Um, yeah, it's nice though. Executive hotel situation. Um, I was able to check in early. Oh wow, city view. And y'all look like across the river over there is Canada, so this is wild. Um, stuff to check out. There's an Applebee's down there. It's a courtyard Marriott. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get situated and then I will I will chat up chat you guys up some more.
So good morning, everybody. I am up and ready to go. Um, this is day one of our conference. Um, this is a Sphinx conference. So I'm here in a, um, a representative capacity and I'm looking forward to the day, but I did want to uh, check out my outfit that I'm wearing. Let me see if I can get it. Turn the camera around. So this is my outfit of the day. This is what I've got on. I've got on um, some leather camel. Um, I guess these are culottes, if you will. Um, I've got some leopard print shoes because that's kind of my MO. Um, I've got a white blazer and then I've got a silk blouse. Instead of going down with a button up, um, I did kind of the um, embellishment in just a, a collar situation. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to get up and moving. I thought my first session was at 11, but it's actually at 9 and it's 8.45 now. So I'm going to run down to the food court and get some coffee. Um, there's a Panera downstairs. There's Starbucks. Um, there's some other places. I don't do Starbucks anymore. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to hit Panera so I can get something in my system because it's a long day today. And I will take you along for the ride.
win both the junior and the senior divisions of this competition. It's an honor. It's, always, it's such an honor to be here with you guys now. So there's like a or whatever. Can I see what you so y'all, I didn't realize this before, or maybe I did and just didn't pay attention, but we are right here at the Port Detroit. Um, and again, that's the crossing of across the river to get to Canada, uh, Windsor, I believe. But right here, this is the entry point between uh, going into Canada and the US. I saw it when we first, when my driver first brought me in, but I was like, yo, we're, <laughs> legit on the border um and i thought that was really funny um but yeah it's a little thing for me so i noticed that and i was like oh cool we can be international in like 10 minutes <laughs> oh she showed it to you mm -hmm. i said i don't know if i hate packing more or if i hate unpacking, I hate unpacking. you hate packing more yeah, unpacking is pretty easy because it's like, the, yeah, the, the majority of it goes in the, the laundry anyway, so. <laughs> I hate packing after a trip, like, like I'm going home, but so repacking to go home. Like packing to go on a trip, that's okay. But repacking to come home, that's tough. It's really cold. I said it's is really. It, is it cold out there? Yeah, like I told you, it's not even. I I don't know how to explain it. Like it's a like a bit. It's bitter, like a bitter cold. Does that make sense? I don't know how to how to explain. Like it's it's not like any moisture in the air, so like it it makes your skin feel like dry. Like you put lotion on your hands, and then it's still. Like your hands still feel dry. Like I don't know. It's it it's not nice. So the like the Detroit River is just like right outside my window. Yeah. That's the river that separates Detroit from Windsor. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like it was all clear this morning, but like right now, like there's so much ice, like just floating down, like packs and packs of ice just floating down the river. I'm like, where the heck is this ice coming from? It froze last night. Or, but I want to know moreover, like where is it flowing? Where's the, river, the direction the river is flowing from? Because it's flowing like this way, but there's so much, it's just tons of ice. Um, but this morning, like I said, this morning when I got up and I just kind of looked out at the, the sunrise and everything, like the river was clear. There was nothing in it. But like right now, like you could hopscotch across to Canada <laughs> on, on, like on all the ice. Like for real, you could. <laughs> You can you can, you can frogger all the way to Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Okay, so at least making baby steps. I got all the stuff out the closet that way I can see everything so I don't leave anything behind. Where you gonna go eat? No, I brought. I just bought my food. I went downstairs and ordered my food. I, I just brought it up. Oh, so you went for the night? I I don't have no reason to go back out. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna probably edit some. To I gotta you know? edit some videos. No, I haven't talked to Bay at all today, so I'm gonna call her. EJ. Yes, I said. Hey, girl. Hey, good morning. It's my last day here in Detroit. Um, I am actually. I'm all packed up. I um. My luggage is just there. Um, it is nine o'clock. I got up about. I kept hitting the alarm. I got up about seven thirty, I believe. Yeah. Oh, lighting is terrible. Um, I got up about 7.30 this morning, got my stuff together so I could get out of here. Um, my car service is coming to pick me up between 9.30 and 10. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and head down, check out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get coffee here or at the airport. Um, as you all know, it's Sunday, so I am fasting, but I'm gonna go ahead um, and get myself together. Go ahead and put my coat on so we can get out of here. And um, I will see you guys in just a bit.
them about being here is um, the city has really turned up for the Lions. Um, so everybody today, um, the hotel staff, especially the restaurant, um, they have all their Detroit Lion paraphernalia on as opposed to like their, whole, their standard hotel uniform. So um, embracing what a big deal it is that the Lions are going to the um, NFC Championship game is, you know, not lost on anyone. Um, so I just, like, I thought that it was kind of cool to witness and here to see. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. As y'all can see, my driver left a lot to be desired in the way of um, customer service and, you know, kind of basic assistance um, for uh, patrons, but I still tipped um, just because it's a younger dude. I think there's some areas for growth. Um, he did get me here safely, um, although <laughs> I was a little concerned. Um, we did do a little bit of sliding on the road just before it started to snow. Um, so I, you know, those are little things that, you know, I, I, I do, I, I joke that I send my strongly worded emails, um, but you know, I think if you want to grow your business, if you do need feedback, um, and that is some of the feedback that I'm willing to share. Um, but yeah, so I'm here safely. Um, and I also want to mention, I don't care what y'all say about Detroit, about the D. Um, these people, especially TSA and um, the airport agents, are some of the nicest people that I've experienced um, in any place I've ever traveled. Um, their care and concern, just general politeness. Again, it could be a Sunday in Detroit's going to the championships. I don't know, but the people were really nice. So I just thought I would mention that. Y'all stop hating on the Detroit's ball. All right. What I was saying earlier is that my driver left a lot to be desired as it uh, related to you know general customer service um, as y'all saw he popped the trunk and thanked me for my ride and waited right inside the car as the snow pelted me and I got my luggage out the trunk <laughs> um, I still tip though because I just thought it's important to he's a younger guy and it's important to you know ensure people are um, paid or uh, accommodated for you know doing what the job entails um i'll still send a you know a, some feedback to the company when they send my how was your trip 
Um, I just think that it's important that if you're building a business or you're maintaining your business, that you take feedback from customers and utilize that feedback to grow your brand and you know enhance the experiences. So, you know, all in all, no harm, no foul. I know I say that a lot. Um, but anyway, I just thought I would make mention of that. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, for the most part, it has been a, um, a fulfilling experience on the whole. Um, you know, a little takeaways here and there, but for the most part, like I said, it's been good, so no complaints. So I'm landed back home. Um, the trip was great. The flight was easy and successful. Um, yeah, I think everything went well. Um, and this may be just a good place to end the vlog just because um, I don't anticipate there being any more takeaways. And if so, I can certainly address them in, uh-oh, I guess that's not an exit, in my next posting. So I will holler at you guys later. Bye.